I can't thank God enough for helping save my husband and my, my kid's dad. Amy Sosa considers her husband Enoch lucky. A co-worker allegedly shot him in the head at Advanced Granite Solutions in Edgewood. Three other co-workers died, another also critically injured. Sosa has been in intensive care at shock trauma with Amy by his side ever since. Um, he's doing a lot better. He still has his breathing tube in, but he's communicating with yes and no questions by nodding. They said he's going to pull through. It's just going to it you know, probably take a year or more for him to, to get better. The Sosa's community in Northeast is coming together to support them. Their church, Mercy Missionary Baptist, is holding a food and funds drive for the family and their four children. She says her husband gets along with everyone, and she has no idea why the shooter wanted to hurt Enoch. He's awesome. He's a, he's a, he's a great husband. He's, he's a great friend. He's a great worker he's, and an awesome, awesome dad. Prosecutors just announced the shooter will be tried in Delaware on attempted murder charges before being brought to Maryland to answer for the charges here. Amy says she's okay with that. Obviously, Maryland let him go on that. He had all those felonies and then they had a gun. They found a gun on him and they just let him go. So maybe Delaware did a little better job at making sure he, he never gets out to hurt anybody else. The other victim, Jose Gillen, was upgraded to serious condition today. Amy talked to his family. They say he is awake and talking. Now, if you want to donate to the Sosa family, we place links on our website, WBALTV.com. Reporting live at Shock Trauma, Kim Dacey, WBALTV 11 News.